the recommendations really don't change for men over 70. So men over 70 generally, if they're otherwise completely asymptomatic with no family history of prostate cancer, probably don't need to be having PSA tests every year. And, and those men you know, are very, very low risk of dying of prostate cancer. But for men that are younger, so men from 55 to 69, um, there can be a benefit seen with screening. And so this is where the task force is now giving nuance to the, the discussion and, and basically saying that there's not a blanket answer for everyone. The benefit of screening for men from 55 to 69 would be the, the, the benefit of catching a cancer earlier when it's easier to treat and, um, and, and potentially cure. And so um, if, if men are screened, then uh, you know, potentially that, that tumor could be uh, identified when it's at a curable state and then they could undergo curative treatment and reduce their risk of dying of prostate cancer. So the risk of being screened really, in a lot of ways, comes with the risk of being treated. And so if, um, if a man is screened and that test shows that they're at risk for prostate cancer, frequently the next step is to get a prostate biopsy. And there is a small but real risk of an infection or other issue to arise after that prostate biopsy. And then with treatment, um, both with radiation treatment as well as surgery, you know, those risks of incontinence and erectile dysfunction uh, can be an issue for some men.